I'm Lily from Peaks and Plains Farm, and today we are going to walk you through how we um, set our quail up for incubation, our quail eggs. Um, we use a Farm Innovators Model 4250. Um, I purchased this at our local Rural King, or excuse me, Buckeye, um, but I've also seen them at uh, Rural Kings. Um, ours came with the, um, there's a humidifier, um, it's forced air, I believe. It's got a fan. Um, and uh, it came with the chicken egg trays. So I went ahead and bought the quail egg tray. So I think that we, we got all of this together um, for under $180. And um, it's been really good. We have managed to ha have successful hatches every time we put quail eggs in there. Um, so today we're going to show you how we do that. We start off, I always set it up and make sure that it's clean. Um, I'll do another video on, on the setup process of the incubator, but we always make sure it's clean. Um, before I put eggs in here, I always make sure that there's water in the bottom, and then I ran it for 24 hours to make sure that the temperature and humid humidity are staying true. Um, I do have the automatic egg turner, which is great, because then I don't have to worry about making sure that I remember to turn the eggs myself. Um, one of the things that uh, I like about this is that this it's got a nice um, open window on the front of it, so it's easy to see in when the chicks are hatching and, you know, just to double check on things. Um, one of the things that I don't like about it is that it is styrofoam, and so it can be hard to keep clean. Um, but so far, you know, it's, it's a good starter incubator. It's been great for us to have. Um, Hopefully we'll have enough that we'll be able to upgrade for the next year in 2020 to a small cabinet incubator. All right, so one of the first things that we do is we collect our um, quail eggs for roughly seven to 10 days. We don't, I like to typically stop collecting about nine days, um, just so that way those last batch of eggs can sit for 24 hours in the house to kind of um, stabilize. Um, today we have 81 eggs. You'll see several different sizes of eggs and typically if I had um, my breeders up to the numbers that I wanted, um, I'd be a lot pickier about the eggs that we were keeping for incubation. Um, you can see that I have one hen who is over two years old and she's given me these nice big eggs. Um, but you also see that I have some smaller eggs in here compared comparatively. Um, those are from my um, hens that hatched in December. So they're already laying. Um, we're getting anywhere from four to um, 16 eggs a day right now. So that's awesome. And my next or my last batch of quail should be laying soon. So we'll be separating those and we'll give you a video tutorial on how we tell who is who. Um, one of the things that we learned when we first started um, incubating eggs is we learned that you should candle the eggs before you put them in. They need to be clean from um, as much debris as you can um, and always candle them because you, there's, there might be hairline cracks that you can't see. So what we're going to do now is we are going to candle the eggs and one of the tricks that I learned is you can actually use the flashlight on the back of your phone. Um, it's bright enough and it actually works really well, especially if you have a case on it because then the egg just sits right in that case and it's perfect. All right, so we are going to start. And what I'm looking for now is I am just looking for um, cracks, um, looking for like really dark spots in the egg. Um, once, once the egg has been cleared, then we will put it right into the incubator. <laughs> I'm going to just kneel down so in that way I can get through these a lot quicker. So you can see on this one how it's got these lighter areas. I don't know if you'll be able to pick it up, but right here it's actually showing me that there's a crack in there. 
So that one will get set aside. I will actually hand that off to my assistant. Okay. We'll just keep right on trucking. Um, we learned the hard way that it's better to candle the eggs as you are putting them into the incubator than to just pray that they all look good or to go by what your eyes are telling you um, because in our first batch we actually had three eggs explode because they were not um, good. They were actually cracked and so there was no way that those eggs would have hatched it. So I'm trying to do this quick as possible because I like to get these done and placed in there. We started with 81 eggs and we'll just kind of keep a count. Um, this, uh, this particular size of incubator will hold 120 quail eggs in the trays. Um, I'm not sure how many it will hold without those because I would forget to rotate these things by hand. So I like the assurance that the um, automatic turners give me that at least that is being done. start filling up the two middle trays first. Um, I always feel like they've got the best chance of, of um, being with the correct temperature and the humidity since they sit right over both of the... Ooh, um, the wells for the water so then that way I have a good chance of hatching and then I just kind of filled the trays out from there. I do have one or two hens that give me eggs that have no pigment. So that's kind of an interesting thing that each quail egg, each hen, kind of has its own style of painting their eggs and they, some of them, run out of toner. Now see on this egg, if I haven't blended the camera, you can see that this egg has also been cracked right here. I'm going to hand that one off to my assistant. Open that one. So four broken so far. So then once that's done, we will, I go ahead and, there's already water in the bottom, so I plug in the egg turner, and I always touch it to make sure that it is indeed on, and then, oops, hold on, I always get a thermometer. And I will place it over the eggs, kind of in the corner to make sure that everything is looking good. over 
here, what I do is renew mode. Oh my, what are we doing? There we go. Make sure that this is set on 99.5. And then this is. I would set it for 18 days and then that's it so this will start counting down from 18 um, so then that way I know when it says day three that it is ready for lockdown and then we will come back and I'll show you the next steps all right thanks for tuning in again this is Lily from Peaks and Plains Farm make sure that you check um, for our link to our website below where you can get more blog posts on um, interesting quail information and information on the farm. Um, you can also find us on Facebook where you get a few behind the scenes and just other little tidbits of information about the farm and quail. Thanks and please subscribe.